What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Crypto Airborne in the house, dropping you guys the latest and greatest cryptocurrency news and updates. Today's the last day of 2021, and I could not be more excited for it to be over. It's a crazy year, but I think 2022 is going to be insane in a good way, though. If you guys think that's interesting? Stick around, I'll tell you all about it. All right, guys, hopefully you're having a great day today. I sure am. It's the last day of 2021. Tomorrow will be in 2022, and I'm just excited to see where this crypto market's going to go. I think it's going to be really good. But uh, before we jump into things today, it's going to be a pretty quick video. I'm going to do a market overview. Uh, market is down about 3.1%. We did have a little dip. Uh, I know the uh, Friday options expired with a goal target of about 48,000 Bitcoin, but we're currently sitting about $46,315, down about 1.13%. In the past 24 hours, Ethereum's down about 0.43%. It's in about 3,600. Uh, see, Binance Coin is about is down about 2.28%. It's in at $510. Um, Solana's down about 0.29%. It's in at $169. Cardano's down 1.91%. Uh, it's in at $1.31. Did have some gainers though. The last uh, 24 hours, we had circuits of value up 66%. Wow, sitting at 17 cents. Ribbon Finance is up 24%. We had Alchemix up 17.82%. It's at $270. Uh, keeps, keep Networks up. You're in finance. But uh, yeah, there's a handful of uh, coins that are up the last 24 hours. Losers, though. Let's see what the biggest losers were. Sushi Swap down about 7.82%. Sitting at $9.46. Uh, Near Protocols down about 6.06%. Sitting at $14.47. And Luna down about 6%. Sitting at about $85. All right, jumping over to today. Today is, you know, December 31st, 2021. It's the last day of the year. Uh, it's New Year's Eve. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's also Hagamane, which I guess is a Scottish word for the last day of the year. Good fun fact. It's a Make Up Your Mind Day, National Champagne Day. Picked up a bottle for celebrating tonight. National Heroes Day, VGX Heroes. Um... I don't even know what the East Timorese is, some country it looks like. Uh, no Interruptions Day, Restoration Day in Geneva, and World Azerbaijanis Solidarity Day. I don't know if I got that right or not, but whatever. And it is World Peace Meditation Day. All right, Crypto Bubbles, top 100 coins. Man, Safe Moon, where does... Ooh, look at these pump and dumps, it looks like. Buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell. Pump, so... And I haven't heard that since about the beginning of the year, but it's up 33.4% on the day. Cosmos is up. Hex is down 15%. Um, Avalanche is up um, about 9.4% and $111. Jumping on over to my favorites. Evax, like I just said, is up. Uh, basic Attention Coin, Luna, Helium, Mana, and then uh, let's see. Voyager Token's down 1.5%. Cardano's down about 1.9%. And uh, CKB. Only down about 0.8% on the day. Total crypto market cap sitting at 2.187 trillion. Uh, take a little dip today, small dip, nothing too crazy, but uh, yeah. Bitcoin dominance still trading sideways. I, I feel like we're gearing up for a big jump with Bitcoin here. It's just been trading sideways for quite a bit, or at least for the last like six or seven days, uh, at least for Bitcoin dominance sitting at about 40.13%. All right, so like I said, guys, give me a quick video. Just found two tweets uh, that I thought were pretty interesting uh, leading into next week and where the market is. You know, uh, a lot of institutions are selling a lot of stuff for tax purposes and whatnot at the end of the year, but they're ready to get going for the beginning of the new year. And this tweet from Alex Kruger, he said, he took the last couple of years and said, the Bitcoin returns the first week of January. So in 2018, it was up 18%. 2019, 7%. 2020 was 13%. 2021, beginning of this year, was up 36% the first week. So I wonder what this coming week is going to be. You guys think that uh, we're going to go up? You know, history usually repeats itself, so I'm going to guess that we're definitely going to be going up here. Uh, if not tomorrow, sometime uh, this week. Uh, second tweet I want to share with you guys real quick is TechDev, one of my favorite uh, charting, charting dudes that I follow on Twitter. He said that Bitcoin hitting the same levels as twice before, just slower. What used to be wicks are now multiple candles. So let's just open this up real quick. And he just has, you know, 
three halving cycles. First halving cycle and the different fib levels, where he compares it, uh, the 1.272, you know, we hit that first. And then the second fib level from the first halving cycle on the 1.472, 1.472. Currently, that's where he is guessing where we're at right now, is we're at the 1.472 fib level. And then lastly, we got the 1.618 level, which we haven't even broken that yet. So, I mean, if you know history repeats itself and it, the fib levels all play out and whatnot, it's looking like we could potentially hit two hundred thousand, two hundred eighty thousand dollar Bitcoin if there is a blow off top. I mean, I don't know if we're gonna have one or not, but uh, yeah, I thought this was pretty interesting for you guys. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed it. Short video today. Hopefully, you guys enjoy your New Year's Eve. Um, if you don't already. Go subscribe to me on YouTube if you want to. Uh, smash that like button. Turn on bell notifications. Uh, really would appreciate it. And uh, go check out the video from the live stream that we did last night. We had a Six Fig Stock Trader on. We had Stryka, one of my moderators, and then a surprise guest in about the middle of the stream, Floki, one of the uh, OG founders of the VGX Heroes. But a three-hour long uh it was a three hour long live stream. Great stuff. Great content. Uh, I did pin, con pin comment section. Check it out for timestamps. Uh, we did technical analysis on Quick Swap, Yokai, Sushi Swap, uh, and then all the typical ones we should do StormX, Cardano, CKB, Bitcoin, and then just some, you know, stuff in between. Some real interesting stuff where uh, Six Fig actually showed a video from his old YouTube channel where I met him in real life. It was kind of pretty. Pretty cool video, real quick though. But uh, yeah, go check that out, guys, if you haven't already. Um, it should be in my pinned uh, tweet right here for when you go to my page. So that's all I have for you guys. Hope you guys have a safe New Year's Eve and a great, you know, New Year this coming couple days and whatnot with your family and friends, and whatnot. I'm excited for 2022, guys. I, uh, I've been messing around. I got my professional camera here, Panasonic GH5. I'm was messing around trying to hook it up today to bring you guys a little bit of video, a better video quality and whatnot since I'm just using a webcam. Uh, and I'm going to mess with some more editing and whatnot and, you know, try to get some more interviews and more interactions with you guys. But I can't do it without you guys. Really appreciate it. Uh, I grew pretty pretty fast the last couple of months I started this YouTube channel. So, yeah, can't do it without you guys. Again, guys, have a great night and uh, talk to you guys later. Crypto Airborne, out. Have a good one, guys.